Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Jackie, and today we are going to do a math activity. For our math activity today, we are going to do a math number hunt. For this activity, you will need a bucket of sand, a piece of paper, I like to use colorful paper, something to write with, and playing cards. To begin this activity, you will need your bucket of sand ready. After, I would like you to take your cards and look at your numbers. Make sure you put your cards in your sand. Hide them in different locations. Be careful using your cards because they bend easily. If you do not think you can do this activity alone, make sure that you ask for help. Now, I would like you to take your pen, pencil, or marker, and I would like you to hold it the proper way, and I would like you to write your numbers on your paper. I'm going to begin with the number two. I'm going to write a lot. After my number two, I will write my number three. I will continue to write all of my numbers very large, so that way I can see clearly. This is what your paper should look like. I started with my number two and I finished with my number nine. These are the numbers we will be working with today. Now I'd like you to open your bucket of sand and I'd like you to use your hands to search for your numbers. We're going on a number hunt. This is my first card. I'm going to look at my diamond shapes and I'm going to count to see where this card matches. So I will start one, two, three. There are three diamonds. And I can check my work by looking at the number in the corner, three. So now I would like you to match your card to your numbers. Perfect. Now I'd like you to go back into your sandbox and look for the next card. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to start by counting my pictures on my card. One, two, three, four. I'm going to check the corner to double check my work. Four. Very good. Now I'm going to place my card on the correct number on my paper. Does it go right here with the number two? No. What about number four? Yes. Our number four matches the four hearts on our card and our number four in our corner. Now we can see which numbers we are still missing. Let's go back in our box. This is our next card. We have diamonds. We have one and two. Two diamonds. So I will match it to my number on my sheet. Good job. These match. Now let's look for our last number. If you were paying attention, Miss Jackie mentioned how she was using a sandbox. But today I used the resources that I had and I'm using rice. You may use rice or sand to do this activity. 
but make sure it's in a bucket to keep it off your floor. Our last number. Let's see if they match. Let's count our diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So our number nine in our corner and our nine on our paper match. We did an excellent job. I would like to make sure that when you do this activity, you count your objects in your card for extra practice.